Hello beautiful multi-dimensional beings, earth angels incarnated, light warriors incarnated, star seeds incarnated, astral travelers incarnated. <laughs> anyway, welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel reading a message for you beautiful souls. This is so powerful. This is so exciting. I love the channel message and reading right now. I love the collective energies right now and I really can't wait to get into this. So the main energy that was coming through is that of course you guys, Star Seeds Lightworkers, you are connected to this deeper kind of um, sense of purpose or path or mission maybe if we want to say not in a way of like seriousness like oh as a mission and there's so much pressure it's more of like a activation it's more of like okay we're here we're gonna make a difference we're gonna make a change by being our authentic selves by tuning into and spreading our higher truths through our creations through our creativity through embodiment um, through I am embodiment, you guys being your truest self, not censoring yourself, not suppressing yourself, but shining your light, sharing your love, spreading your perspectives, your knowledge, your wisdom. Us lightworkers and starseeds came here for a specific reason. We're ushering in higher frequencies of timeline into the collective and us being dotted around is like, imagine all these dots around in the night sky it's like, that's how we are in the collective. But the thing is, there's something very powerful about light workers right now being called into activation. Now, there are specific um, times where I have felt this energy before. I think it was about a year ago or so. I can't remember the exact time, which is really annoying. But it's like light workers are being called into action. And this is completely out of our control. It's a synchronization because we together are on a shared path a shared mission here and although our paths may look different um they are carrying the same energetic frequencies the same energetic tones from those higher vibrational timelines like freedom passion um independence okay and expression things like this this is what you're creating into your reality abundance freedom okay so abundance and freedom um, in a sense of breaking out of old paradigms and creating and co-creating a lucid reality in a higher vibrational frequency. So we're on a shared collective mission, even though we're all separate, because of this. You receive frequencies in the astral. You are being assisted by your spirit team and spirit guides. And although we seemingly are here going along our journey individually, there is something really major and big that is happening that is happening unconsciously in the collective or consciously. And maybe you've been feeling this is that at specific points in time, light workers are activated in a synchronization of activation meaning that we're all going for our own journeys doing shadow healing shadow work ups and downs lows and highs but there's a specific energy that light workers are activated into right so imagine it's like all light workers are suddenly activated into this synchronization of simultaneous um, activation and this is life force energy this is fire this is resurgence this is also connected to phoenix spirit guides of yours as well or dragons and specifically we did that reading a while back about dragon's breath there is something about light workers syncing up right now and how powerful this is because it's changing the collective um timelines because, you know, even though we're individual, our frequencies in the astral, we are syncing up collectively. And that's creating a massive amplification in the collective frequency because of this activation. Um, you're like popping in people's heads or you're coming back online is what I kept hearing. You may find yourself walking into a period of time where you almost have this energy of like empowered fight or determination, but in a very, very powerful way because it's not about strain. It's not about pushing in a sense of like burnout. It's, fi it's fire and power and activation in a sense of 
like passion, belief, fuel, determination in such a way of deeper purpose, right? Lightworkers are being called into activation. And so this is interesting because it's like whatever you're doing right now, you may find yourself going into that a bit deeper or, or um, having more energy to put into that um, or suddenly being called to share something or to express something, suddenly getting urges to express your perspectives or your creations or your art or to create this kind of change or ripple into your physical reality. Lightworkers are being called and into activation. And this is very much a subconscious thing, right? It's not something we're trying to do. Um, so this is powerful because it's like there's certain points where the collective aligns up to change the trajectory of the collective timelines so this is very powerful energy being pushed out into the collective energetically right now and what i kept hearing was all the flowers bloom at once all at the same time of course the flowers don't always bloom at once but there's something powerful aligning right now this is a massive collective activation or a new wave of shift um, a new wave to usher into further evolution of those frequencies because there are waves of awakening and I feel as if there's a new wave of awakening moving through the collective but star seeds are almost activated and called upon to help usher in or to help transition those who are being called into awakening right now. So this may, to you, just look like you wanting to do certain things or to share more or to make certain changes, start certain things or really stepping into your power. This is very synchronistic and not for any reason. You are here to usher in the new waves of awakening and it's like a baton and it's like this happens time and time again, like a relay, there are waves. And um, it's like you are part of a specific collective that's now being called into activation. And this, we activate in divine timing in specific ways in our collective mission. Because what I mean about this activation that's happening energetically is imagine it's like um, there's one singular button, right? <laughs> Spirit is holding the button. And when we press this, it activates and lights up something within all the individual star seeds and they suddenly sync up and they start um it's like we know it's time to move in it's like we're moving in moving in it's like we're moving into the next phase the next stage of this collective ascension and again even though we're doing this individually we are synced up because light workers being called into this empowering energy all at the same time what a massive change that creates in the collective vibration for the light workers to be embodying that frequency all at once is insane i also don't want anyone to feel bad if you don't feel this way it could be that it's coming in for you but also this is really is divine time when this happens this is for an orchestration much bigger than ourselves and these happen in divine time because of the collective choice points we enter into when it comes to the collective timelines that we're moving through because as much as we have individual timelines in our personal realities right and we go through collective shifts in our personal lives this happens on a collective scale as well and we're moving into a time of massive collective shifts and um this is why light workers are being activated into action they're being gifted life force energy they're being flowed life force energy through them um it's like even things like if you're doing something you've been doing for a while you might just find yourself having extra energy to put into that thing um, or extra passion or inspiration that's finding you because of this activation. So this is a specific collective sinking, a coming online again, okay? And this is changing the collective shared timelines to shift in a crazy way, you guys, okay? Because like we say, the collective timelines that we're, we're moving through, it's like as a globe, as a world, you know, we're progressing through time, we're progressing through humanity, certain things that are going to happen or not happen, you know, this all depends in what timelines we're condensing down into, and starseeds are dramatically raising the collective frequency and vibration um, individually, but also in these powerful moments where they're synced up, this changes things drastically, it's enough to actually change the trajectory of the collective timelines, okay, so... This is powerful enough, literally what we just said, 
to alter the shared collective timeline trajectory. That feeling of coming out of dormancy or hermit is what we're really referring to. A fight, a fire is summoned all at once. And that inner feeling of fire and empowerment is pulsing into the collective. Lightworkers are coming online or like new waves of awakening of star seeds are coming online. You may be feeling this call. Um, you've, you've felt it, you've activated and this is really moving through the collective now so it's interesting because how spirit brought this through as well it's crazy because it's like even on this video we're all tuning into this same frequency together that we're creating a very powerful energy all of us tuning in right now it doesn't matter if you watch this when i uploaded it or not because by you tuning into this moment we're tuning into a frequency and that frequency is a space in the astral outside of time so no matter when you watch this you are interacting with this energy that we're creating in this moment okay outside of time by connecting to this energy and it's like as light workers as star seeds we're tuning into these frequencies talking about changing the trajectory of the collective uh timelines and moving into new earth imagine all of us tuning into that energy all at once is insane because it's the same as a group of people meditating on the same intention towards something it becomes so amplified so light workers are syncing up mentally even if this isn't a call to action Lightworkers are syncing up mentally and by this syncing up mentally we're feeding into the same higher timelines and it's becoming so so very powerful because of how many lightworkers are feeding uh, awareness and intention and energy into these higher timelines so this is creating creating a powerful powerful shift because by this way of tuning into these higher timelines, um, which can also be tuning into certain frequencies of feeling. This can be tuning in certain frequencies of feeling, uh, like letting go, surrender, love, okay? This can also be um, in visions of higher timelines. This can be in visions of the collective uh, society at a higher dimensional uh, plane or state, okay, of consciousness. We are activating these timeline frequencies in the astral by feeding intention and energy into them through our awareness where our awareness goes energy flows and we feed into that so it's interesting because the same as the news you guys are so you're aware of this the same as the news it is um suggesting or putting timeline frequencies for us to tune into to feed our energy into to carry on and continue creating that so all of us light workers okay even you tuning into this video tuning into other videos that you watch um of these higher timeline frequencies creating content everything like this you guys we are creating a synchronization of energy to be fed into these higher timelines simply by tuning into and being online of these thoughts about it simply by thinking about these higher frequencies simply by being aware of the new earth that we're shifting into light workers are literally architecturally creating it energetically in the astral and that's what we're going to continue to move into because not only are light workers envisioning and creating these higher timelines into activation within the astral planes but our frequency and vibration from the inner work we're doing all together is changing the collective vibration which changes and allows us to be able to shift or to ch change our trajectory towards the higher timelines that we're already co-creating to existence in the astral right so it's like physically we are changing the collective frequency and moving into uh, the trajectory to move towards these higher timelines but what are we going to do when we get there that is the thing is that these higher timelines once we move into them as a collective they have already been built they have already been built by the new earth architects whether that is physically you taking action on your higher timelines or simply just feeding awareness and thought into those higher timelines again how powerful is it when one person meditates on an intention of something versus a hundred people who are meditating all at the same time, all feeding intention into the same thing? This is powerful energy amplification. And there's something very highlighted about that, that um, say there's these group meditations or um, how if all the star seeds synced up all at once, it creates a powerful, powerful consciousness shift in the collective. The starseeds are, as much as like 
there's a lot going on in the earth and the world. And as much as there's a lot of fear frequencies and things like this, us starseeds, we really are the ones in power because we're the ones co-creating and joining up and syncing up energetically into this higher mission of basically finding our passion, freedom, and um, embodying these higher frequencies through liberation, through truth. So you're finding these higher truths which bring you freedom and liberation from the mental cages of the illusions of fear and these um, lower vibrations we've also been working in lower vibrational planes and doing shadow work to help clear collective um, stored energies right like we spoke or I'm not sure if we did that but like coal spirit brings through coal because coal is fossilized energy and when coal is burned it becomes activated and it's actually hotter when it turns white and it's been burned than it is before right so it's like the coal is symbolization for stored stagnant energies in the collective that light workers are working through reactivating and burning by transmutation burning through purging burning through alchemy and in this way it's creating a lot of energy okay it's creating a lot of energy so again the same as we said about like the news or anything that we watch anything we watch we feed our awareness into is very very powerful because now nowadays as well this is not just about one person tuning into a certain timeline this is about large collectives of groups of people tuning into the same frequency and feeding energy into that and light workers and starseeds are feeding their energy into higher timelines by the content that they're watching by by the communities they're engaging with you know by having this higher awareness on how they utilize technology maybe you guys love documentaries maybe you love history documentaries maybe there's certain things you like watching online that expand your mind and these are the energies of the timelines that you're creating in the collective by doing these things you're feeding energy into them but like we say there was a massive energy about um the power of collective um, intention so say like everyone met up at like a football stadium or something and we were all doing a shared meditation focusing on love how that would change the collective frequency all together is crazy because we're outputting that vibrational frequency as the magnetic beings that we are as the energy and magnetic beings we are we are pulsating out and syncing up with these energies so I hope that that made sense, you guys, that how powerful it is that, like, every time as well, like, say we come on here and do a reading, like, tarot readings are also collective manifestations, because we're collectively agreeing in a video, we're all manifesting this into our reality, and with that shared intention of confirmation and belief, we literally create that for ourselves, and it's like we're helping each other manifest, not only for the collective, but for our personal realities, by having a space to join in places like this where all the energy is culminated together it's like if all of you if we say on here right now you know it's like um we'll, we, we could do a card pull and we could say oh ace of pentacles just come out ace of pentacles is all about new beginnings new financial beginnings as well or receiving okay and new opportunities and it's like yes we confirm this we believe this and it's like every single person watching this video right now is like yeah we're manifesting that into reality by that confirmation by that acknowledgement and our our um, acknowledgement of that as a collective group is so much more powerful. We're helping co-create the collective, but also our personal lives. And Starseeds really run this show because of the facts we're syncing up. Because it's like, again, like we said, you're on your personal path. You are actually connected in with the other Starseeds lightworkers who are also on this path. Okay, the path that is different, the path that is... Um, maybe a bit outside of the normal because this path outside of the normal is really you following your intuition to these higher timelines and again all starseeds and lightworkers you are very empathic and in that empathic sense we're able to connect to become one unity through separate beings so yes starseeds are running the show because we're able to become a united front of one conscious collective unit 
even though we're in separate vessels because we're empathically telepathically tuned into one another and a lot of the time we're working through the same cycles and we're being activated and coming online and coming out of dormancy at the same times as well you'll notice like there's certain times where light workers come out of their hermit mode they come out of dormancy into activation and we feel like sometimes this can be to do with our personal path but it's not because if you look around to other starseeds and light workers they also are getting this same energy they're also coming online they're also being activated and there is new waves of energy moving through the collective and you guys are a part of this transition of changing the trajectory of the collective vibration to be able to start moving into condensations of timelines of a higher vibrational frequency or plane and once we get there the architects you've already mapped out blueprints by dreams ideas plans it's like whatever you physically create as a higher timeline, but also ideas that you uh, that come to you that you let go again, those are sent out into the astral and those will be planted as seeds in higher timeline frequencies for other souls when they get there. So it's like we're not only helping move the collective into these higher frequencies, we're also paving and building those frequency planes before we get there. So it's very, very, very interesting. You could feel yourself being called into action at the minute um because of this um and being called into action is also like a sense of clear empowerment energy like i see my full value i see myself in my true light all of a sudden all these lower maybe blocks or doubts or lower belief systems that held me back before they're suddenly vanished because you're called into action because this is divine time that light workers sync up in this way and this is not the first time this has happened and there will be many more times but they happen at specific points throughout time and throughout uh, the year and to do with specific planetary alignments and things like this because um it's like we're playing a game of chess with the light and dark you guys and um you know, star seeds again making their powerful moves is that why we're powerful is because we act in unity, not separation. Lower vibrations act in separation, but higher star seeds we act in unity consciousness, meaning that every single star seed incarnated right now um, can be telepathically and empathically synced up, and in that way we create like one gigantic being, almost like all consciousness into a larger embodiment of unity consciousness, and in that way we're much more powerful at having a say uh where the collective's moving into because we are synced up in this way it's almost as if we're synced up into a higher being like a higher power like because when i channel through deities deities a lot of the time can feel like collectives of people and it's so interesting because we're incarnated and scattered out into separation but the higher we go in spirit levels it's like the more souls are clumped together to embody that one being like for example divine feminine can incarnate into earth but if she incarnate, incarnates into earth she might incarnate herself into a thousand different souls that are separate right but they're all a divine feminine incarnation uh the same with like chaos or this or that and all these energies we're incarnated and scattered out but we are connected and in unity in a sense of being an incarnation of the same frequency so star seeds are syncing up right now they're coming online they're answering the call and answering the call for you may just look like um, stepping into your power, speaking your truth or reclaiming your power back in your reality in whatever way this is. And it could be reclaiming your power back in a way that has been waiting to do so. Like um, it's been lingering there, like you, it's been lingering there for a while, but it's like now's the time and you get called into that. And again, this is not about pushing or forcing the self. This is that this happens naturally in divine time and it's very much out of our control. You will find yourself in divine time with the energy and the inspiration that you need need for these activations because there is a lot of a bigger higher timeline mission going on that we are participating in but not always actually aware of and part of this higher mission in the collective energies is that we are acting as a unit of consciousness um, and syncing up in that way the more we dissolve the separation the more we're able to sync up as people as beings as souls telepathically empathically to this united state of consciousness and that's a lot more powerful um because it's like we're joining up intention we're joining up frequencies we're joining up energy imagine it's like all the candles 
on a cake, but instead of them being separate flames, they're so close together that they end up creating a massive flame, one big flame out of a million candles, okay? And that one big flame is very, very powerful. So that it, it, it changes the rest of the collective as well. And something I've noticed is that because of this syncing up, there are higher um, frequencies of... Um, so you know how you go to do something, it happens in all different timelines, there'll be higher outcomes, lower outcomes, it really depends on the frequency it condenses into. I've noticed that a lot of um, higher timelines are condensing into outcomes when people walk into uncertainty or the unknown right now because of how much the collective vibration has been shifting by this activation of star seeds internally this fire coming back up again or this um truth or this clarity of clicking together of the bigger picture this awakening type energy um and i noticed that it's creating a lot of blessings for other people in the collective as well others who may not be into spirituality others who may not be aware about vibrations timelines collective energies they're actually going to be finding themselves um, having surprises and blessings the same as you because we are changing the collective trajectory and by doing so it changes everything because if we're in a higher timeline it's not like specific things that are in there it's that we're in a higher timeline and that is going to correlate to everything we do if we're in a higher timeline then it's like what I make for breakfast goes perfect like it's like not to say everything wants to be perfect and running smoothly. It's that things just kind of align better. This is what happens in higher frequencies. There's less resistance. Things align in divine timing a lot more. Things are more effortless. And this is the change that the starseeds um, are creating by this collective activation. Is that we are changing the collective frequency. And that means that other people are going to have higher vibrational outcomes of timeline. So right now I'm hearing it's a great time to uh, start things or to take risks or chances because unless you're fated to not go down that path, you will not get a bad outcome right now because there's something very powerful about the energy and the collective being um, shifted to this higher timeline state. And so we're naturally going to get higher outcomes because of that. Like I say, um, higher outcomes... Um, can also not look like it all the time because it's like sometimes like the, the, that's a confusing energy but you you guys know what I mean when it's like we can have the most perfect outcome but if it's not meant for us then that's not our perfect outcome for it to go well right so our perfect outcome can look the opposite sometimes but unless it's fated to not go down that path or to not have that thing things are going to run effortlessly and smoothly for you and for the rest of the collective as well and I really have been witnessing around a lot of people go through like surprise opportunities blessings or miracles and I really do think it's because of this powerful energy that's being uh surged through the collective right now and it's very connected to fire it's very connected to plasma dragon spirit guides phoenix spirit guides um and yeah so we're moving into the next stage the next stage the next chapter the, the next stage of the evolution of the progression because like anything we are moving into these higher timelines in a transition of we're not just going to always a collective well we're not just always a collective going to jump up there. We have to release so much and, and um, we have to heal so much before that. So we're doing this in, in a slow, gradual process. But now it's time for the next stage to be complete because there's something about cycles being complete in this last chapter and how you've cleared a lot of energetic space or you've cleared a lot of lower vibrations by the side quests and soul missions that were or soul contracts that were in your path in this last chapter now you're moving into a whole new energy and so is the collective and this is very very powerful so again if you're called into activation um know that you are syncing up with the light workers of the collective and in this way we're empowering each other not only physically empowering each other but astrally telepathically and empathically we're empowering each other because of the fact we're all empathically connected so it's like a domino effect or a ripple effect um you know 
So this is very, very powerful. This is very interesting and I'm very excited about this. So you lightworkers, you have been called into activation or you're about to be, or maybe this is something that's happened to you before in the past and it's coming back around. There's something about cycles coming back round or like a specific point coming back round, which is like the same but different, okay? So again, with these connect collective activations, um, it wouldn't surprise me if we start seeing star seeds again because we channel from we channel from source and we pick up on collective energies and I have a feeling a lot of star seeds are about to start channeling or um, putting out messages like light worker you're being called into activation or the time is now the fight starts now because this is the same I film I filmed a reading at the last time we were at this energy point in the astral and I tried to find it but it was so long ago I think it was like a year ago but it was like the fight starts now you're being called I just feel like all light workers it's like you're picking up this energy um or you're intuitively sensing that there's like a massive new shift going on or something big that's occurring when it comes to the changing of the trajectory of our timelines some of you might have more knowledge on this than me in a sense of astral knowledge um astronomy uh to do with the planetary alignments i don't know when we have solar eclipses but i know solar eclipses create quantum leaps and jumps so it might be worth looking into if that is intertwined with this and it could also be intertwined with some type of lunar or solar energy that's happening right now as well so you guys maybe you have more information about this please share it into the collective or if you don't want to share it into collective share it into the collective in the comment section below you are so needed and appreciated here and we really are making a big change in impact by coming into this unity consciousness this syncing up okay can't believe it like star seeds and light workers are so synchronized up it's insane and we sometimes do differ right it's that we sometimes do go on these side quests and we're doing our own thing but that's why I think that this reading came through is because there's a specific syncing up again so it's like even if light workers have gone on their um separate paths and all this there's a there's a time right now of collective synchronization between these star seeds or light workers uh, between specific collectives who are being activated but they're being activated and they're sinking into unity state consciousness even though we perceive it as an individual journey it's like we're all actually coming into the same energies at the same time and it's creating powerful waves so i love you so much and i will speak to you all in the next reading beautiful souls Mwah.